Hi there, right, it's time for another tutorial. But this time I want to talk about some of the bad habits that I see other cartoonists giving tutorials on YouTube. Uh, a classic one being this, they say, I'm going to teach you how to draw a face. First of all, you start off with the eyes, the nose and the mouth. And then you build the face around it like so. Well, I'm mean, going to tell you that's fine if you know what you're doing. But if, like most novices, you don't know what you're doing and you're coming onto YouTube and you do this, you're going to set yourself up for a lot of disappointments. Some people will say, uh, oh, we start off with big square jaw because he's got a big square jaw. Well, that's fine if you know how to draw the character, but it's no good if you don't know what you're doing. My suggestion is a lot more simple. It's a lot more straightforward. You always, always work on shapes. So a head, always start with a circle. And then you, that way you'll always know the hair will start off the top of the circle. The ears will be around about here. The eyes will be there. The nose will be there. The smile will be there. You will always get it right, no matter how many times you draw that circle. And no matter what position the character's in, the hair will always come off the top about there. The eyes will always be about here. The mouth will always be about there. You will always have your character in the same place. Your character will be consistent and you won't be setting yourself up for a fall. So with that in mind, I'm going to show you the very, very basics, the things you do need to know about how to draw cartoon characters using shapes. Right, so as I said before, we'll start off with the face. So just do yourself a circle, like so. And then for the body, work off, it's a choice, either a chicken leg, a chicken drumstick shape, or a sort of a triangle. And then a little, a couple of breadsticks here, for legs, a line, and another circle for the hand. It's a side arm view, so you haven't got to worry about the other arm just yet. Okay, so now with the face, the eyes have always got to be in the right place. The nose has always got to be in the right place. So if you do uh, a grid, you divide the face in half like so, you'll always know that the eyes are going to be on either side of this. So we'll just do dots for eyes for now because it's a lot simpler. The eyes will always be on either side. No matter where that grid is, it'll always be on that side. The nose in the middle. Give them a smile. Ears are starting on the line and they'll start on that line there which now means that your ears are in the right place and the hair, well, whatever hairstyle that you want give it a hairstyle, it can be anything so with the arms you're always in the right place every single time so your arms are going to be the same shape the same design whether they are wearing a t-shirt or not now this is a very, very, very rough drawing. I don't expect to win any awards for this. In actual fact, it's a load of rubbish. But if you practice these shapes, I could then take this character and say, right, we'll have them running, okay? So I'll turn the paper around, get in position, because for running, we are moving at an angle. So really round to landscape rather than portrait. So start off with a circle again. The line of action is roughly like this so I'll then draw the shape. One line here for the one leg with the foot on the end. Bent one here for the other leg. The arm now is really stretching forward here. And then the other arm goes behind like so. Now having done this, you can see that you've got a shape. You can now work off this. You've more of a chance of feeling good about what it is you're doing rather than thinking, hell, why can't I draw like the cartoonist on the internet? This will still take a lot of practice. Don't get me wrong. You won't get this right the first time. It's unlikely but you're more of a chance of getting it right after a bit of practice if you continually follow the process of always using shapes. 
So, um, but, well, okay, I, I would normally start with the arm. That's crazy. Let's go with the face. So we'll have him facing pretty much forward. So there's your grid and just bring it like so, so you know where the face is going to be. Nice big nose, eye on either side. And what should we have him doing? I suppose shouting, maybe someone in front of me wants him to move. So a little bit of mouth, shade it in. You see, you can do all this now because you know that the mouth is going to be on that side or all of the face. It's the bottom half of the face. It's never going to be in the wrong position. The ears, remember, using this line. There you go. And the hair now, on the first picture, here yeah, if I can find it, the hair flops like that. But because it's action, have the hair going backwards. Because the wind's coming this way, he's going into the wind, so he's blowing his hair back. Now we start to get somewhere, start to define. So we'll give him a t-shirt. There's the sleeve. Bring the arm around, clenched fist when he's running. A little bit of shade there. There's the other t-shirt coming from behind because it's behind his head. Dude, I'm just really just, they're parallel lines. And the curl fist on the other side. There's your thumb. Now you're getting an idea for the shape of the body. Well, we'll have him in shorts. So put the shorts about here and about there. And remember, just think about the angle that you're running at. It wouldn't be straight like that. It would be at an angle, like so. Connect and then connect these two here. Little fold crease there for, I suppose, where the where the back side, where his backside would be is, is butt. And then fold the leg all around me, put a sock on it. Using the prescribed lines that you've already roughed out and This is the sock again, so there's me just drawing without telling you. This is going to be the rolled over sock. Uh, the front of the shoe, the few grids like that, and then connect the leg. And there, now the, now the shadow, to give it the impression of moving, don't have it directly underneath the character, have it starting about the middle and heading off out this way. It makes it look like it's moving. If you put a few bits of dirt like that, it gives even more of an impression. You don't have to have the lines coming across, you really don't. And then just put some folds on your character. There you have a character running. I hope this has helped you. And I hope you understand that well-meaning as they are, starting a cartoon off like that and then building the face around it is not going to help you learn to draw cartoons. If you want to learn to draw cartoons, this is the way to do it. Always build up your characters. After a while, you won't need that. You'll just automatically draw yourself a shape. Like so. And you will build your stuff up. You'll have your own style of drawing. You won't need to follow mine or anyone else's. And you'll just draw away like this. And it'll be so much easier. You won't need the guidelines there. You'll just automatically know where everything is. Tune in again soon and I'll show you how to draw all manner of things. I'll fluctuate between master classes to basic stuff. So it's not just for those of you who are starting out. These tutorials will be for those of you who have started out but want to know how to go further. I'll be showing you how to draw cartoon strips, single panels, comic pages, how to ink, what pencils, pens to use, all sorts of stuff. Stay tuned, all the details should have been somewhere on the screen if my technical know-how is anywhere. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. All the best now. Bye for now.